this video, we're going to look at how to use and configure the Windows magnifier. This is a really useful and absolutely free Windows accessibility tool, which allows you to enlarge and see things more easily. If you're on a school network, check out how your school technician has given you access to the magnifier. If you're on a standalone computer like me or have admin rights, then you can activate the magnifier a number of ways. Firstly, by opening the start menu, clicking on the settings icon, and typing magnifier in the search box, then choosing magnifier settings to take you to the magnification controls where amongst other things you can turn on the magnifier. Or replicate the same action again through the start menu but this time using the settings heading etc. Or for the quickest activation type magnifier in the toolbar search box and just press enter. After you open the magnifier you will see the control interface. If you don't use it for five seconds the panel will change to a translucent magnifier as you can see. Simply click on its center to go back to its previous form. If you find it difficult to see the magnifier icon you can also reactivate the interface by clicking the magnifier icon on the toolbar instead. When the application opens, your screen is automatically zoomed in by 200%. You can then use either the plus or the minus buttons on the control panel to select your required magnification. At present, this is set to increase or decrease in increments of 100%. The next choice you can make is which way you would prefer your magnification viewing option. There are three different choices available to you. The first being the full screen view, which is set by default. In this, the entire screen will be enlarged and depending on the zoom level you select and the size of your display screen, you may not see the entire screen at the same time, though it will move in and out of view as you track to and fro across the screen. The second is the lens view. This view is useful when you wish to enlarge just the particular part of the screen around your mouse pointer. The third option is docked mode. In docked mode, only a portion of the screen shows a magnified view, leaving the rest of your desktop unchanged. You can then control which area of the screen is magnified. For example, I can see my toolbar in its original form whilst also checking out any small details in the docked magnification view. The docked window can also be made narrower or wider by positioning your pointer on the edge of the magnifier window. Then when it changes to a budded cross, hold down a left click on your mouse and move the perimeter up or down as to your preferred choice. You can also relocate it to one of the other sides of the screen by positioning the cross pointer in the middle of the window, holding down on the left mouse click and then completing a drag and drop manoeuvre. Next we'll have a look at using the magnifier settings to fine tune your magnification preferences. For this part of the video, I'm going to set my view to full screen and switch between normal and magnified view as appropriate, by this time using a combination of the keyboard shortcut keys to control the magnification. Have a try yourself. Simply press the Windows key, which is the third key in from the bottom left of your keyboard, with either the plus or minus keys to control the magnification. These are next to your number zero key. Click on the settings gear icon and the setting menu that opens is dependent on the magnifier view you have chosen. This one relates to the full screen and dock views. Firstly, you can alter how quickly you add to or decrease your magnification level. At the moment, this is set to increments of 100%. I'm going to use the slider control to adjust this to a lower setting of 50% alteration at a time. Next we see the colour inversion option. This could be useful when you need to improve the screen's colour contrast. For example, when working on a Word document, rather than working with the default view, 
you may find it easier to visually access white text on a black background, which you can do by inverting the colours. For example, this can be useful for students who have photophobia, uh, for whom a white background can sometimes be too bright. Thirdly, you can choose how your magnifier tracks. By ticking one, two or three of the related checkboxes, you can include or exclude any of the options. At the moment, mine is set as follow the mouse pointer. So whichever magnifier window I've been using, the magnification has always followed the mouse. If you make a lot of use of the tab or arrow keys, then also tick follow the keyboard focus checkbox. This means when you activate these, your magnifier view moves to that area of focus. And you can also choose to have the magnifier follow the text insertion point. This displays the area around the text that you're typing. I'm going to select this and now you can see how it works as I type in a Word document. The second settings menu relates to and opens when you're in lens view. Now you can perform some similar operations as in the previous settings menu, such as setting the zoom level and turning on the colour inversion. The difference in this menu is the ability to customise the lens height or width. Just adjust either slider until you've reached your ideal size. Finally, before exiting the magnification tool, you can also make sure it's easily activated the next time you turn on the computer or just quickly need it. Simply right click on the magnifier icon on your desktop taskbar, then in the menu that opens, click pin this to taskbar. And that's it, how to set up and use the Windows magnifier.